School districts are battling for bus drivers, and the bigger districts could win. Tonight, we're learning Pittsburgh Public Schools is offering signing bonuses to lure bus drivers, but this incentive could affect surrounding districts. Amy Wattis is live to explain. Amy. Christine, that sign on bonus could affect surrounding districts like McKeesport, who say they can't afford their bus drivers and offering those incentives. So the superintendent says he's concerned some of his bus drivers might jump ship, leaving some of his kids without a ride to school. David Sunstein owns several bus companies in the area, including PA Coach Lines, who serves McKeesport Area School District. But he says some of those drivers are being lured elsewhere. As of today, our concern is that uh, Pittsburgh is now offering a $5,000 sign on bonus. PPS confirms it's offering up to a $5,000 signing bonus to some of its bus drivers. Sunstein's other company, Sun Coach Lines, has a contract with PPS, so he says there's a chance a lot of his drivers for PA Coach could leave the company, ultimately leaving McKeesport out to dry. The reality is if we don't offer this same program, these people are going to leave and they're going to go someplace else. Mm -hmm. So I would rather me have those people working for me so instead of going someplace else. And I think it could kind of take away from the McKeesport Air School District. So it's a little challenging trying to determine if we're going to have enough uh, drivers and transportation for our children when we open on Monday. Sunstein says he has given McKeesport and other districts the opportunity to offer incentives, but Holtzman says the district isn't able to make that happen right now. That's where the challenge has lied with kind of trying to negotiate and discuss it with my school board, as well as try to discuss it with the PA coach to try to convince them or give them incentives to be here in McKeesport financially. And I don't, we can't compete with what Pittsburgh Public is offering. McKeesport parents like Tarina Walker say she's not surprised this is happening, but she doesn't want to see kids left out in the cold. What's going to happen if the kids are left at the bus stop? Like and nobody picks them up because we've had that happen last year. If the district ends up losing drivers, Holtzman says he will do what he can to make sure every child has transportation to and from school. Now, the superintendent says he would like to know sooner rather than later if any of his bus drivers plan on jumping ships so he can figure out next steps. Now, he did tell me some of the creative ways he's thinking about addressing this potential problem. We'll share those coming up tonight at 6. Reporting live in McKeesport, Amy Wattis, KDKA News.